Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACODs. In some of our most recent videos, I've received a few comments from viewers asking for specific information about the Cranman T1750 four-wheel drive trailer, log trailer behind me here. And I thought that I'd take the opportunity to do a little bit of a demonstration and try and answer some of those questions properly. I've had my Cranman for a little over two years now, and I can tell you that I'm very pleased with the unit. You can see in some of the previous videos that I used to have it uh, pulled behind my Honda Foreman 500 ATV, and most recently we upgraded to a B2601 Kubota four-wheel drive tractor just to get some more weight. I can pull uh, about a half a quart of firewood out with my trailer, and I was a little worried that I was really asking too much of the Honda ATV, so we uh, moved up to the B2601. So one of the viewers wanted to know what the range was on the remote control for the wireless um, hydraulic winch. I guess I've never really been into a situation yet where this didn't work. And so uh, I thought that it would be a, a good opportunity to demo that just so that I would know. I believe that I have about 100 feet of cable on the winch. Uh, so what I've done is I've set some, uh, some stakes up and I've gone clear out to 70 yards. So I'm gonna hook up uh, a choker to a trial piece of wood here in the yard, and then I'm going to set the camera up just so, and we're gonna go back to 70 yards and work our way in until we can actually get the remote to uh, be picked up by the base unit on the tractor and, uh, and start to pull the log in. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so that surprised the heck out of me. That's the first time I have done a trial like that. I guess I never ever thought to do it. But I went out to my furthest marker, which was 70 yards, and it worked. So then I uh, kept walking back around, and I bet you that I was 100 yards away, and it was still able to pick up the, uh, the communication back to the base unit and run the winch. So like I say, if there's 100 feet of cable on, uh, on this winch and that works 100 yards out, it's actually uh, three times the length of the cable and then some. I could have kept going back into the woods, but I thought that that was a pretty good test. So on to the next question. Okay guys, so the next question that I've received uh, is how far around will this boom rotate? Will it go 360 degrees? I answered the question and I said, no, I don't think it will but I knew that it would go past the plane of the header on the trailer. And so one thing that you've got to watch out for, you've got hydraulic lines here, and these are going down to feed the boom control itself and also your A-arms on your outriggers. And the hydraulic lines just come right back through here. And uh, you have to be careful that you don't stress these too far. Now there's lots of, lots of cable there, um, but uh, I don't want to break a hydraulic line. I actually had to uh, just go pick one up this morning to replace one on the unit as it was from a mistake that I made two years ago. And uh, that mistake finally cost me about $70 for a new hose. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start up uh, the machine again and we're going to rotate this boom around. And you can see, hopefully, I set a piece of uh, wood over here and uh, we're gonna see just how far around we can get that without stressing these hydraulic lines uh, and see if we can grab that piece of wood.
Okay guys, so one thing that I wanted to point out was just because that boom will turn around this far, you have to be careful. Look at your A-arms here and look at these cylinders. I expect that's a lot of money and if you're trying to pick up wood in close to those A-arms and you make one little mistake, you're going to be in for a repair and you're going to have downtime. So you can see that I've got uh, the butt of my log right there by the A-arm. If I come back around, that distance from here to here is at least two feet, so I'm two feet past the header. If I had to guess, I'd say that's another 15 degrees. Uh, so we're looking at uh, probably 210 degree swing or better. But take a look in here. See these cables? They're not stressed yet. And there's still a lot to play. Let's go around and check the other side. Okay, so look up in here. See, that bundle, there's still play there, but I'm starting to stress them. And uh, on the other side, there's still lots of, uh, lots of play left. But I don't like this. I don't, I don't want to stress these cables any further. So if you ask me, I would reposition my machine instead of reaching around like that. It's just my opinion. Okay, the last question that I got was how long is the trailer and does it extend and then how much further does it extend? So the answer to that question is yes, this trailer does have an option to extend and now we're going to measure it. I have it out just about as far as it'll go. I didn't want to push it any further because I was worried about splitting the trailer and uh, I don't know if there's any stops inside um, to prevent that from happening but I didn't want to take the chance. So. I've got it out as far as I want to extend it without pushing the limits and we'll see just how, how long the body is. Okay, so I'm at uh, 9 foot 2 inches and the log that I have on here for interest is 13 feet 10 inches and I've taken 16 foot 6 inch with this out at 9 feet. Um, and, uh, and the trailer will handle that no problem. So this is a close up of uh, the bolts that hold the trailer uh, main shaft. And you can see that uh, there's six of them. And if you look here closely, this is where they were positioned when I bought the unit. And so if I come, this is the back bolt hole because here's all three of the bolt holes from the top row from when the unit came to me new. And like I say, I've got it, uh, I've got it extended as far as I want to extend it. And you can see that I'm at one foot nine inches, right? And uh, I expect that they probably put in a two foot extension here, so I might be able to go three more inches. So I would say, if we said that the extension was two feet, and we're at nine feet, that uh, from the header back to the end of the trailer it would be uh, seven feet, which would make sense because it would accommodate an eight foot log quite easily, right? And then when you extend it out two feet to nine feet, uh, you can put on, you know, obviously 16 foot logs because I've been able to do that without any issue. Okay guys, so the last question that I received is how big of a log can that trailer handle? So you can see that I cut uh, quite a bit of fur and uh, these logs right here behind me are 16 feet 6 inches long and these logs pretty much put the unit uh, to its test. They're all that that machine wants to lift. In fact, uh, you've probably seen in some of the videos where I've had to 
pick up one end of the log and set it on the trailer and then pick up the other end of the log and set it on. So they're pushing the limits of the trailer as far as I'm concerned. So let's get a close up and check the diameter on the base of these trees for you. Okay, so I apologize, but my logging tape doesn't have any increments on it until uh, one foot nine inches. So I'm gonna start at the two foot mark. So two feet and I'm over to three feet, four inches. So that is 16 inches in diameter across there. And that's, uh, that's a sound log. And that was all that my trailer wanted to pick up. So uh, 16 inches on the butt. Let's run up and check the top. Start at two feet and we're at uh, two feet, 11 inches. So 11 inches on the top. So that's a pretty good log. And that uh, pushes the cranium into its limit in my opinion. Okay guys, that was a quick video. Uh, you know, not as long as what we normally produce, but uh, I wanted to get that demonstration done uh, for the viewers that had asked those specific questions because uh, I wish that I would have done more research on the trailer before I bought it. Very happy with the trailer, wouldn't change a thing, but uh, it's a lot of money and it's kind of nice to know the capabilities of the machine and exactly what it can do and what some of the downfalls are before you go and lay out that kind of cash. So uh, I hope that you uh, find that very useful for those of you that are looking to buy one of those trailers. So like I always say, if you enjoy our videos and you want to see more of them, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and help us grow the channel. And come back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. See you in the next one.